Cities in the valley have detected avian flu in their wastewater. The Maricopa County Department of Public Health announcing the virus was found in Phoenix, Tempe, and Surprise, but believe it could also be in other cities too. 12 News journalist Chase Golightly is taking a closer look at how it was discovered and what this means for people living there. Even with this latest discovery, health officials here in Maricopa County say the overall risk of human infection remains low, but they're still keeping a close eye on this situation. From backyard flocks to a West Valley Zoo, Maricopa County has seen several animals become infected with avian flu. Now the Department of Public Health says the virus has been found in wastewater. The first detections were in late November. Dr. Nick Staub, the assistant medical director for the county, says wastewater monitoring out of Phoenix, Tempe, and Surprise detected the virus. They are the only three cities that have this kind of system, meaning there's a real possibility it could be spread throughout the valley. And we're working with cities across Maricopa County um, to expand wastewater testing. Now, wastewater is more than just the water you flush down the toilet. It's also from your shower and commercial drains, which is why Dr. Staub says they can't say for sure if what they're seeing is from infected people or wild birds. We believe that these detections in the wastewater are related to those animal detections that have been reported. So far, health officials say there's been no human cases in the county or human to human transmissions. Dr. Michael White, the chief clinical officer at Valley Wise Health, says their hospitals are busy, but not with bird flu. We've seen a lot of influenza, a lot of RSV, but nothing that has been the avian flu. Still, they're preparing for that possibility. It is that mutation that we worry about, that the virus will change itself in some ways, that then it will be able to easily be transmissible between human to human contact. For right now, doctors say the risk remains low for people unless you work directly with sick or dead animals. <laughs> Brittany Thomas, who runs a hatchery in Queen Creek, is taking precautions to keep her and her chickens safe, like keeping them in their enclosures. That prevents wild birds from eating their food and drinking out of their water, which is how diseases are mostly spread. And other animals on the lookout. As soon as they see a wild bird try to come into their territory, they chase it off. Knowing the possibility of bird flu happening to them is real. Protecting my flock from disease is always on my mind. Only two people have tested positive for bird flu here in Arizona. They were workers at a poultry factory out of Pinal County and have since recovered. We're in Phoenix tonight. Chase Golightly, 12 News.